There are many different ways to ferment the lager, but I'll touch on a couple here. The first method is to do something called pressure fermentation, which is where you ferment it using a traditional lager yeast, but at room temperature. However, you apply about 5 psi of pressure to the fermenter. Pressure fermentation allows the yeast to reap the benefits of faster fermentation from a higher temperature while suppressing the negative off flavors that are produced from fermenting at too high of a temperature for a specific type of yeast. The second method you could do is using W3470 yeast. This is still lager yeast, but it has somehow evolved to be able to ferment very cleanly up to almost about 70 degrees. The third method is the classic lager fermentation routine. So we will pitch our yeast and then we'll bring our work down to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep the temperature at about 50 degrees for about about a week. After about a week we should have about 50% attenuation and at that point we want to start bringing things up to room temperature for what's called a diacetyl rest for about two to three days that allows the yeast to complete fermentation and clean up any byproducts they produce during fermentation to include diacetyl.